the thoughts that come from from the head, sometimes from the hands, and other times from the heart. Allora, riterrei i lavori della giuria conclusi. Abbiamo i finalisti di Itz. We receive such a huge amount of portfolio and that's probably the best moment we can have in our office. Everyone is excited. It's a party. It's a joy. It's as if you were struck by beauty. By project you feel the urge to discover, understand and touch. begins to slowly turn into something with its own life. We can live and disappear and it's amazing. But beauty we searched and beauty we got. The thing that comes in my mind is uh, the first presentation we did in Netherlands. The beginning of the teamwork. We all went. It was truly emotional. Getting ready in the morning at dawn. Ready to be understood by. We're gonna go to Paris for another three schools, and then London, and then Brussels, Antwerpen, and New York. We reached 15 years. For 15 years, our stories, our lives the life of the world team, of the people, of the finalists we have selected through the years. Close the eyes and fast forward the tape to say, look what happened in these 15 years. Barbara Franchina, I'm calling you from Trieste, from Itz. You are a finalist. Wow! <laughs> oh, no! Crazy! Oh, my God! Congratulations! Oh, I'm so crazy! Oh, my God! <laughs> It is a, an international uh, contest, so you have to apply. It's, it's a contest. <laughs> it is a 550 finalists, 60,000 applicants, more than 100 winners. It's a family. founder and director of AIDS International Talent Support, Trieste. And I'm really so proud because Barbara is a very long time friend of mine, but she's also somebody who's always stimulated me and uh, inspired me amongst a lot of people. She's been inspiring so many people of contemporary fashion makers. So what you have been creating, first you started with Eve, then you moved on one year later in 2002 with its talent support. I remember that everybody, it was like the first big tribal 
meeting up in Trieste, the city that nobody normally has visited. And what I love most about how you and your incredible team have been setting up it's it always felt like a very loving fashion track, like the, the values within it were different from scratch and you could feel that. So people kept coming back. It was really like a hard track. Yes, uh, because uh, for us, uh, it has been always natural, this kind of approach. It was like, like uh, I like this, uh, I do this, uh, I do with passion and with respect for everybody. Yeah. And it's, it, uh, it seems to be not so natural for the world. And so for us, it's uh, nothing special, it's just, just us. It's just you, but at the same time, it was very, very different and very exemplary in the fashion industry. Yeah, because there is no, also no separation between uh, the contestants and uh, no. uh, the jury members, the press members, so everybody under the same roof, uh, forgetting their mask, for, make, for forgetting their rules, uh, but uh, under one roof that is the roof of beauty and creativity. Our desire was to create a platform for young fashion designer, a place where they can feel free, a place where they understand that we understood them. We saw them. It's very important for a creator, for an artist, for almost for everybody to understand that uh, you has been seen from another person. Okay, it's like, a, Okay, I see you, you see me, I understand what are you doing. It's not just a small game, it's, a, it's important, you know, I understand you. So it's a contest is this, it's a place where we try to support young fashion designers in different way. We are, uh, we can do small things, we cannot do big, big things, but we can do the first thing. So we saw them, we select them, they come here, they meet uh, uh, jury people, press people, other people like them, they have the same desire, but decline it in another uh, way. A lot of people look at uh, the result of it. Uh, so the day after they receive the call, uh, Instagram message, uh, uh, Facebook, uh, all the uh, traditional and not traditional uh, uh, contact and they start uh, uh, some in some occasion a new life so the life change so we collected all this material 18,000 portfolio incredible 18,000 portfolio 18, you have them all in your archive yes one by one 18,000 portfolio you said it's not the end it's going to start from here even and uh, it, it, it will increase uh, uh, year by year. It's not uh, a freezy uh, archive, this is an archive of the future. And okay, so we uh, decided to keep all this material and give to all this material the same uh, importance. So from the first to the last uh, uh, portfolio arrived. For us, it, it deserves a space. Um, it deserves to be seen. Uh, we have collected uh, almost uh, uh, 700 uh, from between uh, uh, clothes, uh, accessory, jewelry, artwork, photography. So we have many, many pieces. And with this material, we will create the, the exhibitional side of its academy. Okay, it's very academy. interesting, huh? because it's really in a period that people did not, uh, it was an analog period like not a digital period, it was an analog period in which you actually kept this and filed it and archived it. So it's really an, an incredibly uh, interesting contemporary fashion archive on the past 20 years of fashion evolution. Exactly. It has got its own scale next to what we know about the big houses or the one, the people that became famous. And it's worldwide, it's not only European, which I found also yeah. very interesting with it. Exactly. So essentially, this is what uh, is it's global, local. And exactly, it's global, local. Also, the people who will visit the, the space that will be open uh, all, uh, all year long, 
uh, would be from the, 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 the child to the elderly people. It's very inclusive and democratic how it's you approach it. Inclusive, it's, it's democratic, it's a trans uh, generational, uh, trans cultural. For years, we've been sowing the seeds. We grew a community, a living tree made of people, strong, fresh, and sincere. A family with a family treasure. The Creative Archive. We've been boldly pursuing our vision, and today, our dream is coming to life. We are building a creative community for global education in a 1,800 square meter space inside a historical building in the center of Trieste. It will host courses and workshops for industry professionals and insiders held by former its competitors returning to Trieste as mentors. Companies will be able to experiment and create special projects while school students, tourists and the whole territory, from kids to elderly people, will benefit from cultural events, activities and labs in a formative research space for everyone. There is a bright star in the next future. A new home waiting for us. We are building our dream. We are building the It's Academy. fantastic. I mean, it really is so unique. I think also a really important record of fashion in the 21st century, apart from everything else. When you come up to the archive, you realise that this is a kind of a condensation of the very best work of the new generation of designers and it's very exciting to see. I'm amazed by this archive. It's really a treasure house. There's so much talent and inspiration in here. I really I want a lot of people to see this, especially fashion students around the world, because it's a totally inspiring place. is coming to you to discuss these things do you feel that after 20 years or near 20 years it has got this power to also address topics with bigger companies or with the caring group or can you do that can you address and direct you mean me we as it's a team huh? yeah i think that we you're uh, a solid voice we, I think uh, that uh, our voice uh, um, changed uh, in different way the decision of some uh, big companies. Mm -hmm. For something is clear, and for not for other things is not so clear. It's not uh, you cannot prove it, but. Uh, if you consider when it, it, it is born uh, the, um, a big uh, contest in France, uh, in Yukon, when it is born, what they have done, 
uh, how it uh, developed and you follow our history, you see, you see many things. Uh, but um, I, I write every, not every year, but when I have enough time, I write also a report after the preselection because uh, after having seen uh, 800 portfolio, you have an idea. Yeah, of what's going on that year. Yeah, and so what what's going on that year and the following years, normally it's not just work for one year, no? You start to see something different and, and then it will go for years, the, the phenomenon, okay. And uh, I brought uh, a, a report in uh, the most interesting, I think, because um, we have had a lot of time, uh, a lot of time, more time to 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 write it and to to do the analysis uh, in uh, 2016. And inside of uh, the report, uh, there were a lot of uh, instruction for companies, for schools, for students. And now we are seeing what they are doing. And it's what we, That's amazing, Mama. What we suggested to them. You That's know? amazing. So you really, all that, that knowledge and that you gain by being in touch with everybody and do it with so much passion and heart, you're trying to also direct it and give it back to the industry even more, yeah. I try to say what I think, and then uh, depends on them uh, to use it or not. Yeah. So what I suggest uh, to the young fashion designers who uh, has the aim uh, to, to go through fashion in the real world is to think uh, in a smart in, in, a, in a smart scale. Small, smart scale. Yeah. Because uh, when you think uh, I, I want to have my own line, I want to do a fashion show, I want to have the best uh, thing, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. Okay. All these things uh, uh, cost a lot of in terms of money, time, and people who can organize everything and coordinate. Uh, this takes a lot of time. It's not something that happened uh, immediately. Uh, and uh, you have to think that uh, you will be busy for the rest of your life. No time, uh, no nothing else. Okay. You can, uh, uh, and then probably the, the, the money that uh, you will earn, you will earn uh, will be not so, not so much. Okay. If you have a, a, a small organization doing a sm smaller thing in a better way, um, in real contact with your client, clients, uh, uh, I think that the, the end of the at the end the results are better in a small scale. Uh, less time, less people involved, more um, more uh, perfection in what you do. Uh, more long-lasting products, because this is the aim to create something that will remain uh, for a long time. Uh, um, and more healthy, so you take back healthy for, for everything, you know, because uh, fashion is really, uh, has a, a, a footprint uh, uh, um, very big, yeah, very big. So we need to cut things. We need to change uh, process. We need uh, to we need to change a lot. There is a lot of work to do, and clients uh, of the big company will appreciate the big companies who will change uh, the type of energy, who will change the way in which uh, they um, they color things. Uh, they will change everything. There is so many things to do already. We don't need to, to think about other things. There are all, already a lot of things to do. That should definitely, if you still feel it, it should not stop you of entering the most beautiful, creative uh, business there is, according to me. You know, it's still a source of uh, passion. And uh, I've been entering when I was 22, and I still love very much my sector. And I'm still looking at it. and curious how we will find solutions for the future. I find that a big strength of the fashion people. 
that they're always the ones who will just go forward to find new solutions and break break open some boundaries, go forward, whatever happens. It's like nature too, huh? If you think ahead, like what would you what do you hope will happen in the past, in the next, sorry, in the next three years with the whole COVID period that we're now sort of getting adjusting ourselves to the fact that COVID is there, maybe it will stay, maybe it won't. What do you wish for the next years? Uh, um, you mean what uh, what uh, will be the big phenomenon what will be the big uh, the biggest phenomenon in fashion uh, in the following three years yeah, or? Tell, tell me that what what do you think is um, i could say digital fashion but my attention is always on those that still have to happen and uh, what they uh, what those that still have to happen uh, you don't know before so i am really curious to see what will happen uh, what will arrive uh, what will be new what will be different uh, so we have seen uh, at the end uh, of a superstar designer we have uh, seen fashion landing on social networks uh, with the, the two dimension uh, uh, vision of uh, of what we do we have uh, seen uh, a different perception of the body, of identity and gender, okay? We have seen uh, sustainability uh, being finally taken in consideration, in the real consideration, uh, uh, not enough, uh, but uh, we are starting, and the need of a circular economy, a a economy okay? Uh, we have seen uh, the digital events, so this is what we have seen uh, in uh, in the um, in the last uh, in the last uh, ten years, mm, and, the, and this phenomenon uh, has been uh, revolutionary uh, in fashion. Okay, what will arrive uh, apart of the digital fashion that it's already big uh, a big phenomenon? I don't know. I am here to see, and I hope to be able to recognize it. Thank you very much, Barbara. Okay. Thank you. If you okay. want that we talk about uh, the, the, the Hollandaise, uh, I don't know if uh, it's- Yeah, I have to tell you something because Eric Franken, if I'm not wrong, he was your very first recipient from the ITS International Talent Support. He was your first winner, right? Yes, he was my, our, our first uh, winner. Yeah. 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 It, with an incredible, uh, collection uh, uh, made in uh, in wood, uh, not only in wood, uh, but uh, yes, it was very big shapes. Uh, uh, it has been very, very important for us to have him as the first uh, winner, yeah. Because and, uh, apart, apart uh, Eric Franken, we have had uh, more than uh, uh, 30, um, uh, fashion uh, finalist, and not only fashion finalist, finalist in fashion, in uh, accessories, in photos, uh, and I can name you uh, someone if you want. Yeah, I would like that. I would love to. Okay, I, I remember uh, Marga, Marga Weinmans. Oh, Marga Weinmans. Uh, it's four. It means two thousand and five. She was in it's That's so special. I did not know. Yeah, that. and. Um, I remember that uh, the, the photo catalog that she did was a replica of uh, an album cover of uh, Grace Johnson because it, it, the collection was inspired to, to Grace Johnson, uh, Eyes and Life. And I remember that we selected uh, a remix, Libertango, uh, for, uh, for the show. So, <laughs> well, that moment. Okay. And, um, then we have had uh, Levi van Velev, Velouv, Vel, sorry, and oh. uh, he is a photographer, yeah. it's a contemporary artist, and uh, he used uh, the face, his face for uh, create things, and now he's uh, creating um, music cover, uh, books, uh, he's incredible, and uh, um, he's a real, real artist. Oh, no. Then uh, we'll have uh, the Michael Van der Ram. Oh, yeah, of course. 
Maaike van der Ramen. Uh, oh, forgotten. No, I remember that one. I was there. Match collection inspired yeah. by Andy Warhol and uh, Jan Vreeland. And yeah. that uh, pieces became uh, really an icon. Um, and uh, he became uh, one of the first uh, um, finalists who went uh, on to dress, uh, especially Bjork, uh, in, uh, in this case, with their creativity. So uh, oh, super, that's so cool, yeah. And then others and others. Yeah, yes, so cool. Dutch, many uh, Dutch, Dutch contestants that became yeah. each finalists. Yeah, and that experienced the each awesome. tribe and kept that with them forever. The platform that you provide, uh, that you provide uh, um, years ago, uh, a place where all the designers uh, have had the chance to study with other people, close to other people, to other nationality, what you create uh, um, has been really fantastic, uh, uh, a, a really educational uh, platform, uh, open and democratic. Thank you, thank you, Barbara. No, it was it was a really uh, incredible time. Thank you, thank you. And uh, buon anniversario, 20 anni, 20 years are really important. Uh, so happy birthday, Angelique! Happy birthday to all of you. Thank you so much, sweetheart. A presto, grazie, A presto. grazie mille. <laughs> okay. See.